In this video, I will talk about power using angular quantities. As a reminder, power is defined as work delivered over time. The work done by a force is the product of the displacement of the object on which the force acts times the component of the force along that displacement. When multiple forces are acting on the object, the net work done will be the sum of the work done by each of the forces, and the net power delivered will hence equal the rate of change of the kinetic energy of the object with time through the work energy principle. In rotational motion, forces produce torque. The torque produced depends on the magnitude of the force and the torque arm, sometimes referred to as lever arm. Another way of putting it, only the component of the force tangential to the rotation produces torque. This tangential component will produce work as it acts along the arc path. Making substitutions to angular coordinates, we can derive that the work done by the torque will equal the magnitude of that torque times the angular displacement of the rotation. Substituting this into our equation for power, we can get the power delivered by each torque and the average power through the average angular velocity. Here is a quick example of a problem calculating power from angular quantities. Read the problem for the angular quantities. Highlight what is being asked for. Sometimes it helps to draw the picture, even if it is only to define the direction of rotation. Write out the relevant equation for power. If there are unknown kinematic variables, or you need to do unit conversions, start with those first. In this example, we were told that angular acceleration is constant, hence we can shortcut our calculation of average angular velocity. Plug back into the equation 
with units for your answer. We read the problem and check you've got a sensible answer.